Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. It's another Sunday afternoon and I've been to another Sunday boot sale. So, I had quite a lot of fun this boot sale and I'm very, very excited. I mean, it's just cool, you know, just, um, I go around and talk to people and I just tell them, like, look, you know, I'm studying electrical engineering. I want to learn about this stuff. Give me a discount and the discounts are cool, man. So, very, very, very happy with what I've got. Um, looks like, let's count. We've got two monitors, standard monitors, one Apple monitor, which I'm really excited about. I'm hoping is actually, I'm hoping it doesn't work, so then I can gut it out, take out the screen, and put it in my iMac over there. I think they're the same size, 24 inch. Then I've got these three computers. I've got an Apple MacBook Pro, an old one. I've got an iPad, a really old Nexus tablet, this Apple Airport thing. Some solar banks, power, solar, uh, solar power banks, some RAM, mice. Got a couple of cameras, a um, few cameras. Don't know what I'm going to do with these. Got this uh, IP camera as well. That test, the old Tesco tablet. And a few of these like voltage readers. I mean, I have no idea what I'm going to do with these, but they just look cool. So worst case no, just stick it on the wall. Really old analog voltage stuff. And yeah, there's the, the Apple monitor. And then I believe this is an Android computer as well. So let's take a closer look at it and I'll tell you what I bought for, what I paid for each one of them as well. All right, so to kick things off, I picked up this Apple iPad. Uh, I don't even know what one it is. Is it not a year? No, there's no year, is there? It's our oh, model A1458. I don't know what year it is. I was excited. I turned it on and then I actually... Went on to the setup and I was like, oh, nice, you know, the setup's working, uh, screen's all good, it's cracked a bit there, but it was, it was working fine and I was like, okay, you know, so I thought that just, that when you, um, when you boot into it, it like, it's not, it's not even working for me as well. But anyways, it turns out that this is actually locked, so I tried to, um. I just noticed the home button button there. English, United Kingdom. So this is what I did when I when I first um when I saw it at the boot sale. So I thought, you know what, ten quid, I'll buy it. It's cracked. You know, maybe I can have some fun and try and replace the screen. But it turns out that it is actually Apple ID locked. So there are some YouTube videos online showing people how like how you can unlock it. I haven't tried any of them myself personally, so I don't know. Um I'm guessing that they're not going to work because Apple stuff is just ridiculously hard to get into. So, uh, this might be a dud, and if it is, is what it is. Might take it apart or might shift it on eBay. Alright, on to the next one. So, this is, is an exciting one for me. I don't know anything about cameras whatsoever. Um, but I picked this up just purely because I'd like to learn. And this guy, I bought a whole bunch of, us, a bunch of other stuff from him. The computer that you saw... Um, just just now, they were mostly bought from him. So I gave this a Google, looked at it on um, Amazon. It's uh, a Finepix S5 800. And I saw that they were selling them on Amazon for £70. So I said to myself, you know what, it's probably not worth much at all. But at least if it works, and it, it can maybe I can use it to do videos or whatever, it's just a good stepping stone for me to get, for me to start learning about the world of cameras. So... I picked this up for three pound, three pound for a camera. If it works, fantastic. If it doesn't work, then is what it is. Maybe I could just sell it as dead, and then yeah, should still should more to make my money back, anyways. But I'm not I'm not looking to sell stuff. I'm trying to. I at least want to learn about cameras a bit. At the moment, I don't know anything about camera cameras. I shoot all these videos on my Google Pixel Two, which is a phone. So yeah, so I'm excited about this one. I'll show you some more cameras that I've got. So these two ones are. Uh, was the megapixel 14 megapixel Canon and the other ones are 9 megapixel Fujifilm again two digital cameras I paid a pound each for these so no idea if they work again as with everything that I pick up but you know like I said I'm trying to get into cameras and yeah if I can at least have a camera that I can set up I can do some study with me videos shooting over my shoulder and stuff like that so get some different camera angles I'm excited to learn about this stuff uh, let's see if we can see what it is. It's a PowerShot XS or PowerShot SX150 Canon. 
paid the power for that and then the Fuji film fine picks again same as the big black one uh, but it's a f47 fd fine picks f47 fd yeah so that's a one camera for for three pound the other two for a pound each i wasn't going to pass up on those i already own a few ip cameras which i used to use around my house but ip cameras are such a pain especially when you have to use them with their software that they come with is usually cheap uh, Chinese software which is rubbish so I wasn't very reluctant to pick this up but I kind of just wanted this memory this SD card and I paid a pound for it so I was like you know what worst case scenario I got the Samsung charger with it <laughs> don't know what I'll do with that um, and an IP camera which you know I'd like to get in to try and maybe I can I don't know, hack the firmware install my own software get it to use my own software um, maybe use like a Raspberry Pi and set it up as a security camera I don't know what, I, what I'm going to do with it but a pound again you know as all of these things when you're paying this, these kind of prices you can't go wrong so it's a Zen, Xenox IP camera I don't know if I can see any let me see if I can see any model Xenox uh, G0029 G0030 C7021 DN2 don't know what any of this stuff means so yeah and it's paid a pound. I guess that this thing brand new is probably 20, 20 quid or something. So not great, but it's all right. Picked up this te Tesco Huddle tablet. I actually bought one of these at a car boot sale a couple months ago. And it turned on, but then died on me. The screen was cracked. So I bought another one on eBay. And then I basically put all of the internals from the cracked screen one into a new one I bought. On, or not... Uh, of what a dead one I bought on eBay so I know that I paid on eBay 20 something quid for my one that was um pretty much dead so they these do still sell surprisingly which is crazy I mean, I I still have the tablet somewhere here and I use it occasionally and it actually works quite well I'm trying to just see how to bloody turn this thing on where's the power button oh there oh this is a bit mm, it looks like it's been opened a bit but I had to, I have some experience with this uh, tablet, so okay, it's not currently turning on. What I'll do, I'll stick this on charge for now, and then yeah, who knows? I don't know. I still got some spare parts from the other one that I took apart, so I don't know. Maybe I can fix this. But uh, what did I pay for this? Um, I got it with the IP camera. I paid a pound for the IP camera. Um, do do do. What else did I get with it? the Nexus. I'm gonna say I didn't. I definitely didn't pay more than two pound for this. It was either a pound or two pound, which again, like I said, is alright. And you can sell these dead on eBay for twenty quid. So I don't know how to do this, but yeah, I'm planning on basically setting up some tablets to attach them onto the wall, so then I could use them as security feeds or use them as like calendars or to send like a message to the wife to say, "Can I have a coffee, please?" And then pops up on one in the kitchen. Plan on setting up a bunch of cameras around the house. So yeah. Not camera, sorry, tablets around the house. Yeah, so that's the plan with this. If I can get this working, stick it up on the wall, maybe behind the door, so give it um, feed through the camera feed of the door to the behind the door, so you don't have to open the door to use it. Yeah, try and do all of this stuff. That's the plan. So you know what these are? These are just standard solar bank power banks or solar solar cell power banks. Five volt, two hundred milliamps. Wow, that's slow. Uh, two thousand five hundred battery. Basically, I'm planning on, I was talking to my tutor in university about doing a final year project. So I need to try and kind of come up with some ideas for my final year project. And I want to do something involving solar panels. So when I saw these, the guy wanted £3 each. I offered him £2 each for all of them. He accepted. So I thought, you know what, take it. Why not? The fact that the cables are like this, it appears to me that these are brand new as well. Probably some cheap like pound shop kind of stuff. So... Yeah, probably not the best quality, but still, you know I mean, once I take it apart, I could probably use it for my for a project of some sort. So, oh look, it actually turned on. That one turned on. Does it turn on? That's not turning on. And this one's not turning on. Cool. Yeah. So, anyways, happy with this. So I really don't get this. Like I said, I'm, I wasn't an Apple user at all. Um, it was it was due for a retest August two thousand and fifteen. It's an Airport Express free Apple, I don't know, dongle thing of a jig. I googled it. Let's see if you can read any of that. 
It's very faint. But I googled what these are and apparently they're like Wi-Fi... Um, I don't even know. Wi-Fi hubs for iMac so that you can connect and get Wi-Fi signal that's safe or something like that. I don't know. But I figured, you know, Apple stuff is always either A, interesting to to break open and take a look at or B, always worth some money. So I figured, you know, it's a pound. I'll buy it from the guy and then if I have no use for it, sell it on eBay. That's the plan. It's a funny one. I paid a pound for this. I mean, I don't know why you'd pay a pound for a wired mouse, but... I actually bought it specifically because I was using an old Windows XP uh, laptop, which, uh, sorry, not laptop, computer, which I'm just rebuilding. I bought it from a kid a couple of weeks ago. And the you, for whatever reason, the wireless mouse don't work on Windows XP. So I don't know if maybe I need a driver for it, but I bought this USB mouse for that. So nothing exciting there. So these are interesting. Paid a pound each for them. They're just, I believe, you could correct me if I'm wrong, you can see the damn movie. These are analog voltage uh, readers. I assume, like maybe you connect this part to ground and then stick that into something, and it would read to you the voltage. I don't really know. I don't know if they still work. I assume these kind of analog things they don't use batteries or anything, so I'm gonna assume they work off some sort of I don't know magnetism, electromagnetism. I don't know. But so this one, you just it's obviously some sort of probe. These other two, you connect, they have like positive and negative terminals. I don't know what this one's for. It says 225, 150, positive. So I assume you basically connect the wires into there and then you can read the voltage. So I figured, I don't know, like either I can use it on some sort of project to read voltage or just hang it up in my office because they look cool. And this one's the same. You can see there's a positive and negative there. I don't know why they've got uh, these wires. I assume... So this is a fuse. I don't know. I don't know why. What? So it's going to be some sort of thing to break the circuit if voltage goes too high. I don't, don't know. I don't know how that works. But Brule and Keger, Keger, Copenhagen. Never heard of them before. Is this one? I uh, can't see a brand on that on this one. And this one's made in England. Caffeinode Backwell. Caffeinode Backwell. Reese. Int Reese. I don't know. Anyways, I'm excited about this stuff. I really. So oddly, it's weird. Uh, I'm a proper digital guy, but for some reason, I really. I have an interest in analog stuff. I just like. I like the look of it all. So, um, yeah. I find this very interesting. I'm obviously planning on building quite a lot of computers, just want to learn all about this stuff, so I'm constantly picking up RAM. There's a 4 gig RAM here, I believe this is DDR3, but don't quote me. Um, or maybe this is DDR4, I don't know, because this is a 1 gig DDR3 and they line up very differently, so I don't know. I assume that's DDR3, I mean, that might actually be. No, I'm such a dumbo. This is, I keep falling for this. This is DDR. One, three hundred thirty-three. I always fall for this. So this is rubbish. One gig, not interested in this at all. Um, and then this, four gig. So I paid, uh, fifty p, one pound for this, and fifty p for that. But I'm gonna get rid of this. Kids can use that one. So I'll just keep these two. Never heard of the Minix device before, but apparently it's some sort of Android computer. Uh, I don't know. I paid three pound for it. Oh no, I paid £4 for this actually. The guy was like, it's really good, quad core, da, 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 da. but it looks to me like it's just uh, what similar to what I picked up before. It's just like an Android media hub and not like a PC. So, but what I was wondering is if maybe I could open it up and install Linux on this and get rid of the Android. So, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Alright, so I've got this Google Nexus tablet and I've just tried to plug it in now and see if I can get it to turn on but I don't think it will I actually paid a lot for this I paid five quid for it which is way more than I would have liked to but look at this it's so crusty inside can you see that look at that. it's just disgusting so um I'm gonna try I mean let's be honest I probably won't for a very long time but what I'm thinking is crack it open and either clean this up 
and see if I can get it to turn on or replace it. But these Google, these Google um, Nexus tablets, O G L E, but these are old. Uh, Hello. Silly Google. Anyways, um, these old Nexus tablets, they're proper slow now. So, but again, like I said, the plan is to basically just display a feed, which they can still do. So, should be all good. I just need to try and, I don't know. It looks like it's in good condition otherwise, but that is horrible. You see it? That's just gross. That's disgusting. Anyways, yeah, paid a lot for this. Five quid, way too much. All right, so this one's a funny one. I mean... I wasn't going to buy it at all because it is battered. It's an old MacBook Pro. Can I see the year? A1150 2006. So it's a 2006 MacBook Pro and it is battered. Let's just see. I'm going to assume there's no memory or RAM or anything in there. Ugh, that barely opened. I mean, so wow, this is the battery. Okay. So it looks quite all right inside, but the guy that I bought it from, he, he said he said to me, this needs a lot of work. So I assume he's tried to do a lot of work on it. Uh, I'll show you here. It says screws missing. It's just the stuff just falling apart. It's not great. I'll get you a better angle in a minute. But I paid three pound for it. I mean, it doesn't look all too bad, really. I actually haven't opened it yet. It's amazing, you know, Apple. They just do such a good job. But even when I'm touching this, I'm like, makes me, I want to type on it. I mean, look at these. It's like huge bezels and tiny. But even the screen is nice for 2006. So, yeah, very happy with this one. But I really like it, it's nice. I don't know, again, no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I like it. Alright, so let's move on to the big guns, the big stuff. So I've got this tiny little monitor for five quid. I don't even know how big it is, BenQ. It's actually just a VL204. It's actually super, super light. Just VGA only. Yeah, so I just need a bunch of monitors, so I paid a five quid for that. Don't know if it's going to work. I'm actually surprised that it doesn't take a normal lead. It takes this uh, DC barrel lead, which is interesting. I'm actually thinking that, you know what, I might, it's actually a quite a thin monitor. I might actually take, if it takes a DC barrel lead, I could actually take this apart and use the screen for something. Hmm, we'll see what I do with that. But yeah, five quid pay for this. Sorry. So this is a 24 inch ASUS uh, monitor. I don't know what this is about, ready ASUS, 3D, 3D monitor, hmm. But yeah, 24 inch, which uh, I'm looking for a screen for that iMac over there. So I'm hoping that, I mean, this doesn't look like the right aspect ratio, so probably not. But anyways, yeah, 24 inch HDMI screen. Seems like it's in the right condition. It's got this, you know, like, can move, move it down. Alright, so it's a, uh, I mean, I can't even read that, version VG248QE, I don't know what that means, yeah, and it's got all the new ports as well, which is nice, even headphones, that's all good, I'm excited, but very happy with this one, and standard power as well. Alright, so mixed feelings with this one, it's a PC specialist PC, the only reason why I bought this actually was because apparently it's got an Intel i5 inside. Uh, that would have been obviously when it was originally um, purchased. My dad actually bought a PC PC from this website many, many years ago, probably 10, 12 years ago. And I remember he paid a lot of money for that. Um, yeah, so it's a very, very big tower. Let's see the size. That's the 24 inch um, Apple Mac. So it's a very, very big. It's not Apple Mac. What is this, this Mac display? But well, interestingly enough, so apparently it came with Windows 8, uh, HDMI port VGA, which is nice. I'm kind of looking for this HDMI port now, because that's how I'm... The HDMI port sticker, that's kind of how I'm identifying if it's a newish PC or not. So I'm kind of starting to get it. I mean, kind of, yeah. But oddly enough, this one doesn't come with a power supply, which is really weird. Have a look inside. Uh, 
looks like you're in an abandoned factory. But yeah, so no power supply. Also, I note now no graphics cards in there, which is interesting. I'm starting to actually kind of understand things a little bit. Um, let's just open it up because the, you never really know if these things are worth it until you have a look inside. So let's crack it open and have a look. So here's inside. The guy did tell me that there's no power supply. So, you know, I'm not I'm not really bummed out by that. But there's no the fact there's no power supply. Uh, it's got the DVD thing there, which is you know useless to me. And obviously there's a motherboard, which I knew. What I am quite excited about though is have a look at that. Eight gig DDR three. So again, not DDR four, which is kind of what I'm I'm hoping for. I don't think I own a DDR four PC yet. I don't think I own I own a motherboard that has DDR four, and that's kind of. If I'm going to build the best uh, mo uh, car boot cell PC I can, I need a DDR4 motherboard. So that's kind of what I'm looking out for at boot cells now. And I'm buying these, hoping that there's going to be a DDR4 inside them. But I paid £7 for this whole thing. It's a nice big giant case. Look how much stuff you can get in there. You know, how many hard drives, uh, whatever else you want to put in, I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this one. I'd say this is £7 well spent. Alright, so this PC, I paid £7 for it as well. Um, I don't even know. It just looks nice. It just looks very, very nice. Never really heard of Zoo Storm before. Intel Pentium inside. It just looks, it's such a, it's just a nice looking PC. Shame to see that it's got a big dent in it. Which isn't nice. And here's the back. No HDMI, HDMI port, which I had noticed, and I was like, that's probably going to be an old one. So I was very happy with that. No graphics card as well, which isn't great. Um, not even sure why I picked it up, really. Yeah. Don't know. Let's just open it up, take a look at what's inside. Um, I think I bought it thinking that maybe I could take the power supply from here and stick it in the one I just showed you. So, yeah, I don't know. Who knows, who knows, really, who knows. All right, let's open it up and have a look inside. All right, so this one's fully stacked. Sadly, it's the same bloody motherboard, which I think I have three of now. Um, where's the DVI PCI Express 2? Where's the RAM? The RAM's over there. What is it? DDR3 again. So I'm really looking for a DDR4. At least this one has a power supply. It has a hard drive. Let's take a look at what the hard drive is. It's a 500 gig hard drive. Uh, can we see? I'm gonna, I'll just pull out the RAM quickly. Have a look at how much RAM's in there. Alright, so that's fair. It's got a two gig RAM stick, and then that one's a four gig RAM. So at least it's got six gigs of RAM, which isn't so bad. Um, yeah, I don't know. Bit mixed feelings on this one, probably. Uh, seven pounds is not a lot, is it? And yeah, it's bet. This is better than some of the other computers that I've been picking up. So. I'm doing better, I'm paying less and getting a better quality computer, but now that I'm learning about stuff, I'm wanting better and I'm, I'm really hoping that I can pick up a decent, decent, good computer. I mean, definitely the thing I'm going for right now is a DDR4 motherboard, so that's what I'm after at the, ne at the next car boot. So hopefully the next PC will be DDR4, although I doubt it. All right, so here's the last computer that I got. I mostly picked up because it had all these cool stuff on the top and I thought, you know what, maybe that's a sign that it's a... Uh, a newish computer, but Packard Bell. It's got graphics by NVIDIA, then that means Windows 7, so it's not too old, but still quite old. Intel Quad Core. So I assume this is going to be less as good as. Um, less as good as the other, the other one. Uh, HDMI, which again, so I'm kind of. I think. Now what I'm looking out for is for it to tell me what processor it's got, for it to have a HDMI port and then USB 3.0 as well, which this one doesn't have. I don't know why it's got this thing on it. Let's take some sort of... What is it? Um, oh, for the graphics card. Oh, that's cool. I'll take that off. I've, I've bought one of these on eBay recently. Let's get this off. There you go. That is cool. Okay, so let's open it up, have a look inside, see if everything's there. It looks like it's got, I don't know what this is. This is some sort of aerial now. What does that say? Act Pi Power 
power, axe and power, antenna, like some sort of aerial. And then it's obviously got a graphics card, which I'm happy to see. Yeah, it's got a power supply, which is nice. Let's open up, have a look inside. First things first, there's a bloody spider web in there, which is annoying. I don't like spiders. So, I'm not happy about that. I'm happy to see that it's a nice looking graphics card. Which is cool. And then there's two RAM sticks. Even the motherboard looks alright. Uh, let's see if we can see if it is DDR3 or 4. I can't see. Can you see it? Usually it, said it, it says it next to the RAM, right? I can't see it for now. Um, yeah, it's obviously got a power supply. It's also got a hard drive. Can we see what the hard drive is? Does that come out? So, yeah, it's got a hard drive, which is nice. Got a really nice looking graphics card, which is cool. And it's a nice and small one as well. So, yeah, I've got another PC build, which needs a small graphics card. So, that's cool to see. Um, it's got one of these fan and a power supply. So, everything's literally there. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. So, this looks like a good, decent buy. I'm going to assume that it's DDR3 RAM. But it'll be good. Cool. Good for me to find that. Let me try and move some of these cables around. Well, that sucks. It's um, a DDR2 RAM, which is rubbish. Not happy about that at all. Uh, let me just pull out the other one. Hopefully, maybe this is just the wrong one. Yeah, so it's just got four gigs of DDR2 RAM. So, sadly, nothing special there. Another kind of dud computer, but paid seven pound for it. So, no real complaints, I suppose. It's got everything there. Again, I'm just trying to learn about all of this stuff, but yeah, not the best, not the worst. Seven pound, yeah, it's alright. All right, last but not least, the as you know, I'm a big fan of all this Apple stuff. So it looks like an iMac, but this is just a standard Apple monitor, not the thousand pound one that they sell right now. Actually, it's not even a thousand pound, is it? It's way more. It's the uh, stand that's a thousand pound, isn't it? Um, so it's a cinema HD display. Designed by Apple in California, assembled in China, as always. Um, I think it's 24 inches. Let me just measure it. So this one's actually 23 inches, so yeah, it's not going to fit my iMac, which is annoying, but it's what it is. Oddly enough, it comes with a cable, like hardwired, which is weird. Um, and then what's that? Is that supposed to be the power, so power port? I don't, I don't get this at all. Apple is always just, if whenever it's your first time using something, a particular Apple product, it's always a weird way of doing things. So that's the display one, and then it comes with these extra, so two USBs, and then like what is that? Display port? No, I don't know. But anyways, look, it comes hardwired into it. So let's take a look at this. I was looking around here for some information and I was like, what the hell, there's nothing, maybe it's wiped out, but then I've, I've seen it here. Apple computer, so it's model A1082, and it was made in 2005. Apple stuff is just quality, I like it. But yeah, so, I was hoping that would fit my iMac that I've got going on. I need to find a new screen because I blew up the old one, but it's not going to, so... Don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how I'm going to power it on, actually. I'm quite confused by what all of this is for. But yeah, so, pay £6 for this. And that's the end of my boots or stuff. The table is empty. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. I think I've done very well today. Um, the hardest part that I have is actually getting through the stuff and not letting it all just build up around me. So, yes, that's frustrating. So, is what it is. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. I appreciate you watching. And let me know if you have any advice or anything that you want to let me know down in the comments. I appreciate it. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.